the record-breaking flight from Japan to Hawaii was a historic first for aviation. It's a historic first for renewable energies. It's a huge success for solar impulse, but it has a cost. And the cost is that we overheated the batteries during the first day of the flight. We damaged the batteries. It was an error in the evaluation on how to use these batteries during a steep climb, over insulation also of the battery pack. And now it takes more time to repair the batteries than the time left before the end of the season. The result is that Solar Impulse will stay in Hawaii, thanks to the University of Hawaii, the airport and the, the authorities. Uh, we'll do the repairs and the flight will continue around the world uh, next April 2016. Showing that making the impossible happen takes more time than the possible. It will be a flight around the world in two years instead of one. Exploration and adventure, it's not only when you raise the flag with a success, it's also when you have delays, problems, doubts, and that you have to build up a lot of perseverance and courage inside the team. I really hope that the supporters will continue to support the Future is Clean initiative and continue to collect millions of voices in favor of clean technologies. So even if Solar Impulse does not fly, the spirit of Solar Impulse and the reason why we're doing it can fly and it can be only done thanks to the supporters.